language can never live up to life once and for all, nor should it. Language can never pin down slavery, genocide, war, nor should it yearn for the arrogance to be able to do so. Its force, its felicity is in its reach toward the ineffable. Be it grand or slender, borrowing, blasting, or refusing to sanctify. Whether it laughs out loud or is a cry without an alphabet, the choice word, the chosen silence, unmolested language surges toward knowledge, not its destruction. But who doesn't know of literature banned because it is interrogative, discredited because it is critical, erased because alternate? And how many are outraged by the thought of a self-ravaged tongue? Word work is sublime, she thinks, because it's generative. It makes meaning that secures our difference, our human difference, the way in which we are like no other life. We die, that may be the meaning of life. But we do language. That may be the measure of our lives. On August 5th, 2019, Toni Morrison passed away at the age of 88, leaving a legacy that will define American literature for decades to come. In an article published in The Guardian, writer Ben Okri commemorated Morrison's life with these words. She was a literary warrior in whose work the U.S. peered into the black mirror of its untold truths. But our work spoke to people everywhere, to their traumas and their joys, in a language in which inspiration was at home. In the words of Denez Smith, by Morrison's example, we knew we could write ourselves and our people with love, rigor, and intention. We knew that to be asked to bend our writing toward the comfort of some imagined white reader was a distraction for the good and necessary work of achieving and dreaming up our people. We knew that the best writers don't just clear space for their own name, but make their abundance the wealth of many. Morrison did the thing. She lived a mighty life. She was loved and asked us to love harder. She wrote, and we'll be trying to catch up with her forever. Morrison is the foundation. I'm wrecked to see her go. But as I sit here, I can't help but smile thinking about all she did, all she enabled, all she built, all she dreamed, all those she invited into the room of letters. Rest, Tony. You did magnificent. You took this language they beat into our people and made us a feast. Thank you for making us better. Thank you for it all. Today, February 18th, 2021, on what would have been Tony Morrison's 90th birthday, I think of this particular speech. I think of her books. I think of all the ways she was present in her writing, all the ways she taught us how to see and think about the world. I wanted to share this in celebration of her genius as a way of honoring her memory and the beautiful work she gifted the world. Happy birthday, and may you rest in peace and in power. 